Hello everybody. Welcome to part eight. We're going to be laying out the locations for the leg sockets. So some items that'll make this job a lot easier. Automotive masking tape or painter's tape really. You can use household painter's tape which would be just fine. Some scissors, uh, a marker of some sort, combination square, tape measure, and the provided leg socket location template. And a really good tip before you even get started with this, run off multiple copies of this for if you happen to damage this. And then take your scissors, cut this out around the dash line here. And then it's easier to use like a utility knife to cut the centers of the leg sockets out. All right, and this is laid out five inches from the bottom of the six inch tube. So there's the bottom of your six inch tube. There's five inches. And since I have the stove upside down, you want to turn this upside down. These marks right here aren't really necessary. They're really just more to illustrate what I'm doing and to make it easier to see. Uh, this piece of tape right here is actually pretty helpful because by the time you cut this out and get it centered up this way and find basically the top outside corners and line them up on that tape. By the time you make your marks, um, this line is actually pretty handy to have. And as luck would have it, the last couple segments where I was laying out the potato plate, it wound up being an exact three and three sixteenths to there, and the, the overall was uh, eight and three sixteenths. And same thing on this side, I already have it laid out. Where you're gonna need the square is, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, so you measure down five inches, make a crow's foot, measure down five inches, make a crow's foot. You can use your square off the back to make sure you're square, make your, make your line, and then if you're uh, confident that you have your potato plate welded on properly, that's when you can measure down. Kind of double check yourself. But it wound up being, like I said, perfect three and three sixteenths from my five inch mark to the underside of the potato plate. So uh, that last the last way that I laid out that potato plate worked really well. Didn't need a, a level or anything. All right, um, let me get this set up and we'll start welding these leg sockets in place. So with the stove laying on its side, lying on its side, um, you have a better understanding of what I'm doing here. And this is the cut as received from Winchester Metals. You can see, I mean, everything that they do has such a high level of quality. Everything is really pretty simple to lay out. And I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about, you know, coming from a hobbyist welder standpoint that, you know, the amount of time it would take to cut quarter inch plate, 
put a nice radius on it, cut out grab handles, and just to the level of precision that they have done. And then all the stainless parts, it's just really takes a lot of guesswork out of what we're doing here. So after you get your marks laid out, it's going to weld right there. And then same thing for right here. <clears throat> so really, all I have to do is get on my safety gear. I've already got my ground clamp attached. Get my machine going. I'm going to set it for eighth inch, even though this is 14 gauge. I will do eighth inch and focus more heat towards the three sixteenths main burn tube. All right. Well, let me get that handled and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, I've got the sockets laid out where I like them. I've got a couple good tacks. Now I'm going to remove the, the tape marks. Okay, time to throw the doors open and uh, start some welding. And I'm using, uh, as mentioned before, I'm using solid wire, 35 thousandths thick ER70S6. I'm using Argon CO2 shielding gas, and I'm running at <clears throat> 20 cubic feet per hour. It's recommended to use 25, but I've found that uh, you know, in controlled conditions like this, I've got no wind really, and my materials are new and clean. I can run as low as, as 20 on this thin stuff and uh, get really good results. So pretty happy with that. You don't really need a weld underneath here, but I will go ahead and connect the tops here. All right, looking good so far. Pretty happy with this. Uh, more in a bit. All right, once you're happy with uh, the leg sockets, just basically repeat the process for the other side. And that's going to be it for this video. And uh, I'll show you the results of everything on the next video. And we'll have the stove upside down and we will complete the ash grate, or not the ash grate, the ash door and the ash door bracket in the next video. All right, you guys, I hope you're having a great day. Thanks for following along. I'll talk to you very soon.